Right, world's best couple coming to you from the Oasia Suites in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, this is right after our stay over at the um, Sepang Coast Avani Resorts. Uh, this is going to be a city stay. A little out of breath because we just walked up a slope to reach here. We are on level 19 in one of the suites and we are going to look at what this suite has to offer. Feels like a uh, service apartment with a fridge right beside the door. It's Electrolux. Okay, pretty decent condition. Freezer. No funny smell coming from the fridge. Uh, great news. Pretty new stuff. Right, so lock goes clockwise to lock, which is a little counterintuitive, but that will do. That's what the key card looks like. Um, disables doorbell. Hmm, okay. Cancel each other. Tidy room. Okay, master switch. Nukes everything. No, nope, other switches don't work. You need this to be on. Ah, there you go. So that switches on the entrance light. Interesting texture wallpaper there. Quite unusual, looks like stitched. And it's got little 3D patterns on it as well. Nice little touches. Characteristic of a boutique condo. This cabinet doesn't close, open all the way. Knocks right into the door arm. Two plates, two bowls, and a drying rack. Looks just like most homes right now. Using the bloom system. Fire blanket, just in case you get cold during a fire. It's of course just a joke. Okay, multi-directional, hot and cold. Cool. Comes with tea, Dilma tea, Nescafe coffee. And Nescafe Coffee Mate. Two bottles of water. This looks familiar. Characteristic of uh, what Quincy offers to its guests. Except this is a ergonomic bottle. Looks like it's been wrung. Dry. Okay, interesting uh, sink as well, if you like. It's quite a big evacuation hole. And a cool head induction cooker. This looks like the one for induction, this looks like the one for ceramic as we've seen in the Swasana Suites Comes with its own kettle, it's how many litres? 1.7 litres, fantastic! And this thing, it pulls out to activate exactly the same as Swasana Suites so this top is oily, don't touch it Glasses, glasses, mugs, cool! And the sink is probably nothing. Okay. No mechanism that triggers the trash. And the lid as well. Nice little touch. Without having to touch the dustbin. Okay. Dirty knife. Coffee spoon. Normal spoon. Dirty forks. Tarnish spoons. Shiny knives. Can opener. Chopsticks. Amazing. These guys are Asian friendly. Scissors that I will not dare to cut meat with. Oh, this is a nice rack. We should consider getting this for our house. Okay, second drawer comes with a ladle, chopping board, wooden spatula. Looks like it's been used. Slightly abused. Coaster. And for storing your perishables that you buy from 7-Eleven, that's just downstairs. So beside that whole kitchen unit is a microwave that looks like it's pretty solid. Unknown brand. No funny smell. Glass plate is in good condition. Okay. Cool. Right. And... Okay, what do you know? There's a light switch hidden beneath that panel. Switch for the electric cooker. Unknown switch. There you have, looks like a packet of substance for you to abuse in the washing machine. 
that is also an Electrolux. Okay, the drum looks like it's in good condition as well. That is what a studio apartment living looks like. Wall built in cabinet that is a little angular. Quite useful. Looking for the light switch to this cabinet. Otherwise, it's going to be quite dark. Comes with an ironing board. A nice bathing robe. So, it's got 10 hangers. More than enough for you. Even if you were to stay, say, a week or so. So, we're on level 19. And the facilities are on 24. Comes with a 24 hour gym as well as the swimming pool that opens until quite late at night. This is going to be interesting. The safe can't seem to open fully. Okay, so you got to close it first. There you go. RIP headphone users. Wow, okay, cool. You're going to get a hefty workout trying to lift this thing up with the pistons. Hair dryer. Okay, your slippers and laundry bag inside. Okay, that's a nice touch. Multi purpose cupboards. Don't see them in hotels, more often in service apartments like this. And the cabinets extend towards the living area. I see an LG TV attached to it. Very futuristic, very thin bezel, rounded edges. Nice. It's probably gonna be hard to uh, play your own content on it because it doesn't seem that you can pull it out. So take note if you are someone who likes to connect your own devices to the TV. Oh, that didn't close too well. Even comes with its own Blu-ray player. Wow, that's something you won't see call every day. USB reader as well. Okay, so that probably answers the question on how people view their own content. Uh, right, right. Okay, and the noise on. Okay, nearing the end of this endless cabinet built into the wall. Drawer empty. Empty all the way. Two types of plugs, US, EU, and UK. One light switch that turns on down lights for the writing area. That's cool. One desk phone. Wow, nice uh, engraving on the directory. So it doesn't have the handy for you to make your phone calls. There's a view. I think that is what the KL Tower from the 19th floor. It's got two layers curtains. Show you to black out the place. And it's really very dark, so let's let the light in. Okay, on to yet a sharp itch protruding from the wall. Oh, check out the chair. The chair is pretty cool. It looks pretty comfortable too. Okay, there's a blank long wall leading to the bed. Looks like a king size bed. To a UK plug. That switch also controls the writing area. This one controls. Cold light. Cool. Right, let's leave it on. This looks like a remote control, 25 channels. One of its in-house channel as well. Probably introducing the rest of the rooms here. And a uh, nice leather writing pad. Yet another telephone within five steps from one. Because they are never found alone, always in pairs. Here's your Easter egg. You don't look for the sign on the ceiling. Uh, part of it is carpeted, so this is a nice touch. The mattress, you're gonna love it if you're a fan of hard firm mattresses. And the pillow's pretty decent, quite nicely padded. 
Okay, good to know that this bit side lamp works. One single plug here. And the torch light over here. I like how it seems to uh, be one of the smarter homes that make use of the space in a newer way. Okay, both bedside lamps working. And then just beside the bed is the aircon which blows directly onto what seems to be the dining area. Not the best option for people who are into natural remedies. Supposedly it's quite cooling. Not too good. Oh, nice touch on this. It's like those model lights you found in found in so photography studios. And having to go through all those chairs and table, you get water heater for the bathroom. That is for entrance. That is another one for down lights. Uh, this is for the dining, which has already got one screw coming loose. And lastly, wait, what does it do this for the bathroom? We are about to enter the bathroom. There you go, another tiny space to walk through. To the final space of this service apartment. Very firm solid handle. Closes, no hooks behind. Traditional way of turning locking. Interesting pattern on the glass, frosted glass. Shower screen. Ah, okay, this double usage door. This is for the shower. This comes with both the rain shower and the normal shower head comes with familiar looking shampoo and soap. Let's try the water. Okay. Pretty powerful. Press it in for the rain shower. And it's pretty powerful too. And then we're gonna turn it to use the washroom. This blocks out the space here. To the washroom. Quite tiny on the side. Plenty of big room. Like a premium economy. Whereas in Hong Kong you find that maybe the end is somewhere here. So it's a futuristic looking thing. I'm not gonna attempt pressing the button right now. Oh, nothing works. So it seems like you have to turn on the switch. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, two rolls of toilet paper. Squarish looking toilet bowl. Very interesting design. Big flush and small flush. Okay, there you go. Shaver socket. Solid wood. Quite a hefty tissue box. Bar of soap. And then O in the middle. Two glasses. Mixer with supposedly hot and cold water. Hand towel, toothbrush, toothpaste, lotion, cotton buds, shower cap. Okay. No shower. No drawer here. And a weighing scale. Mm -hmm. yes. And it works. Lights up with a blue color. 160 pounds. Hmm. New Year resolution's not working. And a laundry basket, I guess. That completes this Oasia Suites walkabout. Let's look forward to next time reviewing with World's Best Couple. Cheers.